This is a demo of CRPD acting as an ingress PA node in a BGP LU egress peer engineering topology. It's also called EPE. Here, what we have in the topology is a data center network, AS19, which is peering with multiple ASS, which are advertising reachability to this host, H1, which is having IPv4 and IPv6 address. CRPD is acting as an ingress node here, which is also having a v4 and v6 address configured. This is to demonstrate steering of both v4 and v6 traffic. We see that the peering router in AS19 is peering with the peers using multiple interfaces. And we have highlighted two peering sessions, 19.101 and 19.111. Between the ASBR PR1 and the ingress server, there's a GRE tunnel between 2020-2020 and 1919-1919. This data center network is an IPv4 only network. We are going to demonstrate a ping between the V4 and V6 addresses on CRPD and the host, which is going over BGP LU, that's MPLS over GRE. It's basically going to be V4 or V6 traffic over MPLS over GRE. The CRPD node is going to control how the traffic is exiting AS19 towards 19101 or 19111 by simulating a controller route at CRPD, which is going to have a static route at endpoint H1 with the next hop off either 19101 or 19111 or the IPv6 counterparts. So we are going to look at the traffic in TCP dump by looking at the Linux shell at server 2, that is node SVR2. We are also going to look at the BGP session state and RPD RIB state of server 2 and also the routes in the Linux FIB at server 2. So let's dive in. Here I want to show you when we are in the POD. We log into the Linux VM, which is simulating the data center servers. And here we are seeing that CRPD is running as a Docker container. We can log into this Docker container and we see the interfaces that have been configured on this Linux shell. One of them we have the GRE interface that I want to show you. So, this has the remote and local endpoints as we described. And we can see the routes pushed by CRPD. The v4 routes and the v6 routes, which have the MPLS label. And it's going over GRE. So this is v4 over MPLS over GRE. And this is v6 over MPLS over GRE. And then we can get into the Juniper CLI and look at the routing state. The first thing I want to show you is the interfaces that CRPD has learned from the Linux subsystem. Here we can see the details of GRE interface. This is the interface that we have learned from the Linux and we are going to push traffic over it. CRPD is peering with the RRs in the network and talking v4 unicast, v6 unicast and BGP LU with the RRs. It's going to learn the service routes with a protocol next hop of the egress peers. And through BGP LU, it's going to learn the reachability of how to reach those egress peers. It is going to do the recursive resolution and send the traffic over. So we are looking at one of these routes in detail. Here, we have many BGP routes and a controller installed static route, which is choosing a non-active route as the exit point. If we look at one of these BGP routes in detail, we will see that the route is received with a protocol next hop of 19.1.1, which is being recursively resolved. This 19.1.1 is learned using BGP LU and we can see that we have learned the label 301168 through BGP LU, which are protocol next hop of 1919 1919 
IPv4 map, IPv6 address. So the route for this is going over GRE. We have configured a static route in INET3 to resolve this protocol next hop. That is the protocol next hop for BGP LU routes to go over GRE. This is what tells CRPD that the GRE endpoint is reachable over this GRE interface. Let's go and do the ping. There's a ping running here v4 and v6. We see these ping packets in the TCP dump. Basically, we are doing a TCP dump to match all the GRE packets on the Linux shell. We see here the GRE packet between 1919-1919 and 2020-2020 and we have the v4 packet. This is the reply coming in. It is non-MPLS. And the packet that is going out is the echo request. This has MPLS end cap. And the ICMP request is inside the MPLS packet. IPv4 over MPLS over GRE here. And we can see the same thing for IPv6. We will just stop the v4 ping and have the v6 ping only running. So we can see the v6 packet here. We see the GRE header and the v6. There is a reply. And we see the GRE MPLS IPv6. So this is the outgoing packet. Now we are going to start the v4 ping also. And here I have two interfaces on which I am monitoring the traffic statistics. These are interfaces at the egress ASBR. There's 19101 and 19111. Right now we have a controller route that is directing traffic towards this interface. We see the outgoing packets in this interface v4 and v6. Now I am going to roll back the route. I can show you what the static route looks like. It is just a static route which has the endpoint address that is internet prefix. And it has a protocol next hop as the egress pair, which RPD is resolving. So this static route becomes the API between the controller and CRPD that needs to say what is the service prefix and which egress pair we want to direct the traffic to. The label does not need to be part of this conversation. So the communication between the controller and the server is simplified. Now we are going to remove the static route or you could change its next hop to point to a different exit point. It can go both ways. And now we will see the traffic shifting from this interface to this interface. You see the traffic shifted to this interface. If we look at the Linux shell, we will see that the labels have changed. Earlier the label was 301184. Now it is 301168. We can put the controller route back in and we can see the traffic shift back. Traffic shifted to the other interface. All this is happening with just a route on the server changing. There is no routing changes on the ASBR or any other router on the network. So just a controller is able to tell the server where to direct the traffic to and it's able to do it. So we can see the route change in the Linux shell and you can see that the route has changed only for the prefix that we changed it. For colon colon 2, 77 77 77 2. It remains the same old BGP route. The controller can do a targeted redirection of traffic for a certain flow alone at a certain server. That is what we wanted to show. This is a showcase of how CRPD can act as a companion for the other apps which are running on the data center server. And the app just needs to share the Linux network namespace with CRPD and whatever routing information that the CRPD is installing in the Linux FIB. It can be used by the app by just following the regular Linux forwarding. So 
This is a simplified way of deploying egress peer engineering in any data center. Thank you.